What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder, and today we are finally talking about the sequel to Dividing Eden, Eden Conquered by Joelle Charbonneau. So, I knew when I read Dividing Eden that I liked it, but I knew it wasn't gonna stick with me. And boy, was I right. Every time I would see this at the bookstore, I'd be like, now nah, read it later, now nah, read it later. Like I read Dividing Eden like what, two years ago? And I just now finally got to the sequel. And I did have to reread Dividing Eden and I didn't like it as much the second time. So I kind of understand where some of the hateful reviews were coming from. So with Eden Conquered, we pick up right when we left off with Dividing Eden. We have Karas, who's still on the run. We have Andreas, who has been crowned king. But not all is well, because there are still a lot of snakes in Eden City, and it is up to Karas and Andreas to figure out what exactly is going on here if they want to prevail at all. I really don't think this book had enough information to come to a satisfying conclusion. We did come to a satisfying conclusion. It just felt a little too rushed like the once we get all of the revelations i'm like okay yes it makes sense and i'm following this but i really wish we could have built up to it just a little bit more because half of this book is karis who discovers that you know she can control the wind and she doesn't really know what she wants and is she the one who's cursed and she's trying to figure out the seers and figure out what's going on with the plot and all of this and then she's got two boys who are in love with her and blah 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 like there's like a whole story on its own going on with karis's side of things and hers was very interesting I liked seeing her outside of the city, outside of the castle. We got a little bit more world building there. We get to learn more about the oracles and everything with that. I did really like that, but I wish there could have been more. I wish we could have spent more time with the oracles. I wish we could have gotten more information because it would have made that ending payoff just a little bit better. Then with Andreas' side of the story, he's really failing as a king because nobody's listening to him. The council doesn't really care what he says. They're gonna do things their way anyway. And there's still some kind of plot going on. There's still somebody tried to conspire to kill the king. Queen is still mad. Andreas does not know what's going on. He has to figure all of this stuff out too. And he doesn't even know that Karis is still alive. So of course, when he gets that realization, things start to go very south for him. I didn't like his side of the story as much because it really just felt like we were retreading what Karis was already learning. So it just didn't really fit. And he does have a bit of a turnaround because he really falls off the deep end in the first book. He really succumbs to everything that Imogen tells him. And, you know, he really eats the forbidden fruit, I guess you could say. So I he does turn it around. But again, I wish we could have sat with it longer. It just moves very quickly. This book is only about 300 pages. And I feel like it could have been just a little bit more. We could have sat with it just a little bit longer, just so that everything could have felt a little bit more earned. Because I do like where this book ends. I just wanted a little bit more. So I am giving this book a C minus. Overall though, I don't really know if I'd recommend this series. I remember initially really liking Dividing Eden when I read it, but when I reread it, I did find it a little bit boring. It was a little bit, you know, like expected. You kind of knew where everything was going. And then reading this one, it just was very meh. Like I wanted more and it really wasn't giving it to me. So it was just kind of a struggle to get through. So C minus for me, I don't really recommend this series, but it was worth the read. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.